And you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted. Make sure to check out my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to head over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guide. And today, we got some new things in the Madden Ultimate Team. As you guys know, Friday was going to be, today was a pretty big day. It's like a baby series update. We're not actually officially doing series updates anymore because if it was, we'd have a level up grind, some other new stuff. But. We do have some cool stuff today. We do have some brand new series Redux cards, which is kind of exciting because as you guys know, we haven't had series Redux cards in quite a while since the last series update, which I don't know the exact date of the last series update, but it's still pretty cool that we are getting one. Say quite a few cards to say the least. Now, guys, in my personal opinion, series Redux cards are so important i just wish they came out a little bit earlier because sometimes by the time you get them they're not as useful these are because they're higher overall players but in general if i had to choose between like limited time series redux i i have no problem with us doing both it, it helps out a lot of people because like people who couldn't afford lamar originally can now afford them a lot more because of that without that it, it was like back in the older man's for all you guys who played when literally series redux cards were just obnoxiously expensive not i'm sorry, sorry not series redux cards limited time cards like they'd be that ltd bow three million coins and he would be there all year never move because you couldn't pull him anymore so it's kind of made up for that although the timing of them can be annoying but it is what it is before we get into today's video guys make sure down below hit that subscribe button turn that notify bell boys come join the family make sure to go down below as well and comment which series redux card you're most excited for and everything else so let's start off with the first part of the news which is going to be the team captain token guys now Coming on down below, team captains, earn upgrade tokens for your team captain. Don't have a team captain, check out your earned team captain. Welcome, you know, to get your thing. Like I said, now would be the perfect time to reroll. So right now, you can earn up to 10 team captain tokens, guys. So 20 games, earn a team captain token. 50 games, earn two. So pretty much, to earn 10, you'd have to play up to 2,000 games. But those can, those can just be solo challenges, like your level up grind, I'm pretty sure. So I'm, I'm not entirely sure, but I'm pretty sure you could just replay solos like Booth Breakers over and over again and knock these out very fast. Now, for most people, you probably only need three to four. Like, oh, actually, common people that have been playing all year probably only need like two or one they missed. Like me, I missed one. Um, people who are newer probably only need like four or five, which again, four or five is only 200 games. You could really get that done pretty fast, actually, if you're just playing the same solo and level up at the same time. And then, guys, the 10 is going to be for like brand new players who haven't played at all, who just started the game. That's going to be kind of a grind. I'm not going to lie. I mean, if you do the level up grind from level 0 to 100, you could probably get pretty close to that, honestly, just replaying the same solo. But in my opinion, hopefully you're not that deep. And remember, if you want to re-roll your guy, you can always change your team captain out. Just take up all the tokens and then get some extra ones to finish it. So let's say now you're like, I don't really need the Shazer anymore. I need the wide receiver Herman more. Go do it. Ty Law, go do it. My opinion, I think Shazier is still the best one, but I will be getting these done because I do need my team captain token very badly so that Shazier can finally match up with everyone else in the field. And uh, yeah, so as far as the re-rolling guys were asking about that, I'm pretty sure you should come over here to the team captain stuff. So let's go over to it and let's find it real quick. It's going to be somewhere all the way back here. Exchange right here, team captain exchange. So to exchange this, you can only do it four times. So don't overdo it because you could, you could really get stuck with someone. You toss in your team captain, you take them all the way out, you toss them in. And then you just go on ahead and you get a pack to pick another one. And then you, you could use all the tokens again. Now, like I said, in my opinion, I think Shazier is the best one, but it is up to you guys, of course. I just think Shazier is the best one because the user linebacker is so valuable. When a 99 wide receiver, we have plenty of those. 99 cornerback, we have plenty of those. Although it is a depth position with Ty Law, so that can help as well. Especially if you want to pick up another linebacker and you don't really want to be stuck with Shazier. Up to you. But like I said, the first four extra tokens should be pretty easy for all you guys. If you have if you have Shazier, it's like a 94, 95 overall. You're pretty set. The issue is going to be if you have Shazier like a 90, 91, 92. You're going to have a hell of a grind in store for you guys. But now let's get over to the Redux players over on the other screen so I can show you guys all the screenshots of all the new Redux players. All right, guys. So this is the first screenshot of the new Redux players. Now, personally, this page isn't as exciting as the other page of stuff, which I did not get a screenshot of, but I do remember the players. But we got Trent Williams, Jalen Smith, T.Y. Hilton, Adrian Amos, Darius Slay, and then Adam Thielen. So those are the lower overall ones from the Color Smash promo. And in my opinion, out of the lower ones, who would I actually care about pulling? I think most of them are going to be trolls for the most part. Darius Slay would be decently cool. It'd be like a 150k pull, maybe 100, no, maybe 100k at this point. 100k pull. All the guys are going to be super cheap. They're all going to be 100k or less. So none of them are going to be exciting. Now, as far as someone you could actually use in your team, maybe Amos, Darius Slay, Trent Williams if you're a lower overall. Jalen Smith is a good linebacker as a user. That's about it. Now, moving on to the higher ones, we got some pretty good ones, actually. Khalil Mack, Derrick Henry, Alan Page, and Krishna Koye. Now, who am I excited? If you guys have been watching the channel, you already know. Krishna Koye 
I've been wanting for quite a while. He's been up for like a million coins for the longest time because he's just a fullback and he's he's useful, but at the same time, he's not like people aren't all over him. It's, it's like a weird mix. Now, if Christian Okoye falls down to like 300k, 200k, guys, he's definitely worth it for all you guys who run a lot like stretch and uh, lead blocking run plays and even like gun split close formations where your fullback comes out of the backfield. I'm telling you guys, he could be blocked there. He could be sending a route. You could even hand it off to him. Fullback dive. If you guys do fullback dives, uh, formations with fullbacks that like gun split close or even just lead blocking run plays, he's going to be very worthwhile, especially with that speed and lead block run block combo. Alan Page, another great defensive tackle. You could always power him up, get him up to a 99 overall, 98 overall, very, very easily. Derrick Henry was okay, not my running back. And then Khalil Mack was actually pretty amazing. So, personally, out of these three, I'd probably end up going with Okoye or Khalil Mack for the most part. Well, probably the two guys I end up going with. Now, how much would they go for? Like I said, Christian Okoye probably with like 300k. Khalil Mack probably like 300k as well. Redux is typically drop in price very quickly because they're not limited time anymore. Now, for the next page of guys that we did lose, it was we had Devin Hester on that page, as you guys do know. Not too great, was not a fan of him. We had Miles Garrett on that page, which is actually a super solid pull. Miles Garrett would be awesome. We have Emmett Smith on that page. Emmett Smith wouldn't be too great. He'd probably only be like 250, 300k. We had as well, Miles Garrett probably like 350, 400. He was actually really, really nice. We had Michael Strahan on the page. I think I'm missing one other guy, but you guys get the point. Michael Strahan would be awesome. Now, I'm going to open up a few get -a golds just to try to test my luck, you know, test the water, see if we could pull any of these series reduxes. Probably not, but it's always awesome to try, especially in times like these where we have a lot of stuff in packs. And who, who knows? Maybe I'll pull a golden ticket while trying. So we're going to open up some packs for him. Hopefully, there's some good packs for some of these redux cards. And then we should have new power-ups coming into the game shortly, as they kind of like hinted at before. So if we do have power-ups coming, that could be pretty cool. But let's get an over back to the Madden screen. All right, so we're back here on the Madden screen, guys. Before we get out of this video, let's go open up some packs. You never know. We could either pull... We could pull... Okay, we're, we're going to try a Game Changer, of course. We got to... Oh, actually, no. Elite Player Pack or Game Changer? What does this guarantee me? Okay, 5 plus... Okay, we're going to go with the Game Changer. Let's see if we could potentially pull a Golden Ticket or a Series Redux player. Okay, so first part, we get an NFL 100 or whatever. 87, Jawan Taylor. Not bad. We get a team of the week, and we get Dallas Goddard. Not good. And we get a low legend, 83, Bruce Matthews. Not not good. We get a playoff card. Jesus, this is like a colorful pack. 83, Vinnie Curry. And we get a... Oh my god, that pack sucked. That was like one of those bad cornucopia packs. Alright, we're gonna try that again. Take two, cut, start there. Full legend, that could be good. 88, Kevin Mawai. Or away, whatever. That's not bad. A low legend. Okay. 88 Dwight Freeney. Okay, that's not bad so far. 288 is probably like probably like 20k right there. Another low legend. Okay, we're probably like at 22 22k now. Another legend. Jesus. Okay, I want to open up one more. Okay, let's open up our Twitch pack. Break it up a little bit. If we could pull a golden ticket, guys, you don't understand my reaction. I would go absolutely berserk if we could pull a golden ticket out of these. Now, what about elite player packs? What are the odds on these? No, no. Gold, game changer for sure. Okay. We pretty much have a hit at every single spot. So, and let's get into this. So, we have a base elite. Ooh, 82 George Kittle. Not great. This is the final pack, guys. Comment down below. Good luck. We have four cards to ch add a chance to pull a card that's like 0.01% chance of being pulled. Is it, is it going to be all themed? Like, now we're going to go with base elites? Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Is that good? This sucked. I didn't get a single guy above a 90 overall. 150. Actually, no. No, you know, we're not going out like that. We're opening up one more. We are not going out like this. Come on. Give us a golden ticket, guys. EA. Uh, this is this could be good. 93 Larry Walford. Okay, that's probably like 45k. Base elite. 83 camera Jordan again in the same spot. Low legend Patrick Sartain. Low legend Kevin Mawai again. And we get. Oh my lord. Okay, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. We did not pull any reduxes. No redux hits at all. No golden ticket hits, of course. But we know that's going to happen. We're used to it already, guys. We never pull anything anyways. But if you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to go below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that com uh Sorry, turn that nutty bell. Comment down below if you guys have any other questions, anything to add, anything you're excited for. What redux were you guys are you guys excited for? Like, Let me know which redux out of all the ones we saw today and named that you guys are actually looking forward to. As well as go down below and just say what's up. But thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. This will be the only video for today. We haven't had much content, so as long as we don't have too much content, I don't want to force out videos. You guys don't want to, you know, you don't want to see, you don't want to be repetitive like that. So it is what it is. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. See you guys later. Peace.